Welcome to my WWF LJN custom channel where this time around I just finished up or close to finished up a couple of the uh, Road Warriors and I've done the Road Warriors before they're both Iron Sheiks that I have uh, just changed the arm positions on um, so this time around I'm actually making their uh, shoulder pads uh, I wanted to uh, do that because um, I think that completes the look of them and um, when they get the belts on them they'll look uh, even better kind of cover up some of the flaws I suppose or in a little belt form so I just worked on animal uh, I'm using epoxy uh, which I showed you before the epoxy sculpt which is a two-part sculpt um, which you kind of blob together like I did there and then just put it on it and then form it and so what I did is I actually layered him up with like that vest in the chest area and the shoulders um, I already had the, the hair and the beard I've done already. Um, and this, again, this is an iron cheek. You can see there, I just cut his arm on one side, cut it on the other so that he'll have a different pose. Cause again, this is animal. He'll have a different pose from Hawk. I'm just going to keep Hawk in the same old, same old there. And animal's going to be a little bit different. I thought maybe I could like drape the belt up over here or something i don't know just something different so anyways um so i'm showing the shoulder pads um i added a couple more spikes on this one uh than i did on the others i think i stuck with the traditional size uh, of those um hawks are a little bit bigger than uh, animals i might have to uh, actually fix that um i think i like hawks a little bit better um, so I want to kind of to match up so I added uh, a couple more on this one oh which doesn't matter to me um, to however you want to do it uh, and then what I would do is for the spikes I just took a little piece of it and then I'll show you here sorry a big fat hand in the way so then I would attach it to the um, already laid out epoxy, which is still um, malleable, um, not hardened, because I want it all malleable when it dries together. So then there's my spike, and then I would just attach it with my fingers right on there. So I don't paint this for a while, because I'm going to let this dry. Oh, there's this back. Actually, that looks terribly <laughs> lined up. Um, so I can always pull those off uh, and lay them back on. And I think I'll do that here in just a second. So, uh, sorry, animal just does not want to stay up. I can't find any doggone place to lean him up. He's just too top heavy with all of that. And then I cut his boots. So that kind of throws us off his equilibrium, I guess. So anyway, so there's a... Uh, there's an animal, and uh, I'll do a pock here in a little bit, and I'll show you um, the layer by layer on both of these. All right, so next step that I've done is I have uh, put the clay on, or the epoxy, sorry, the epoxy. Uh, I prefer epoxy over clay. It dries a little bit too hard, not the epoxy. I think it's about perfect. Uh, Milliput is what I've used before, but I think, A, this uh, lasts longer, and B, it's easier to mold and cut, and it doesn't smell. It doesn't feel greasy, so I really like the epoxy. Uh, I have a couple big jars over there that I got. Uh, I think those two big ones are $40, and they're going to last me forever, so uh, just these two little ones have lasted forever. Uh, so anyways, um, so added this on, um, and then what I've done, a trick with working with uh, epoxy, it's just wetting your fingers, uh, and then you're able to smooth out any uh, rough edges, um, and that's what I've done. Um, I do this before I paint. Um, I actually did these, painted these first, the figures, because I didn't think I could actually make a, a set of these, and so uh, uh, I reverse course once I knew that I could do it. So what I'll do now is I'm going to trim this out with an X-Acto knife. Uh, I do have a little slot here on the side to add, as you can see up underneath uh, Hawks uh, thing there, or sorry, animal, yeah, Hawks uh, thing there. Um, so I'm going to add the side piece and I'm going to cut it out uh, and then I'm just going to um, add the little, oh, spikes on it and call it a night. Um, so I'll just show you uh, each step again how, as I go. Okay, so here's uh, Hawk right now, Iron Cheek Hawk. Um, so I use the water just to look a little bit on my finger and I smoothed out his armor or shoulder pads, I guess. 
And then as you can see, I cut the lines uh, into it with an X-Acto knife. Uh, X-Acto knives are great for this. Uh, for trimming up the lines and then for carving some stuff out. Um, I always wet it first, just dip it into the water, and then cut it out and then it looks a lot better. So what I was going for is for like the lines that you see on Hawk and Animal. Yeah, and this time around I put, more, I put some paint on because I spilled it. I normally don't paint until it's dried, but uh, I thought that that uh, yeah, it didn't look good. So uh, it was a big mess of paint, so I cleaned it up. So anyway, so uh, first I've done, added the straps, did a little bit on that back side. I can never get that back side uh, line very good, so that's all right. You won't see it very much. So anyways, uh, I have a little Mod Podge left, or Mod Podge, uh, epoxy left, so I'm going to uh, put those on, and uh, I'm just going to call it a night. So here's where I am with Hawk. Um, if I had my little handheld thing, I'd be able to show you how I do this uh, uh, one by one, but it's the same process that I did with Animal over here and all the other ones. Just take a little bit of the time of the Mod Podge. And then just place it on there. If you screw up, you can easily just pull it off and reset it. Um, it's, it's already getting um, hard on this. And so, uh, but I can always pull it off and then I can remold it too. And, and uh, once I got all these on, I'll go back and sharpen them up a little bit um, as best as I can. So, uh, And when they do harden, uh, you can take your X-Acto knife and you can trim stuff down and around uh, if that's uh, what you want to do too. So I have a couple more of these to finish. Just a few and uh, Hawk will be all done. All right, so this is the last section of uh, the Red Warrior's armor, or Legion of Doom. So this is set overnight. Pretty stiff, pretty uh, well set. Uh, showed you him already. Uh, and then this is what the final product is going to be. There you go. So. Good luck. I've got a previous video on the Road Warriors themselves. Just want to paint those and then add these to them and uh, you got a nice looking pair of uh, Legion of Doom.